what is going on guys, it's Boston here and welcome to the last episode of OP Factions on the Pika Network. So if you guys are new here, you might be wondering, hey Bossy, what's going on with the series? Do everything was going fine? Why why are you discontinuing it? Well, that's a fair question. And um, you know, these last couple of episodes have actually you know changed my perspective on Pika. Now if you guys didn't know, I have come to Pika, um, you know, not from my free volition, right? I was sort of forced here. Basically what it was is that I used to play survival, right? And inside of my survival world, I found the structure that I was sort of messing around with. And what happened was that structure accidentally teleported me to Pika. So for the last seven months, I've been trying to get back to my home survival world. But let me tell you guys, there is no lead that I found to get back to my world. And for the last, you know, so even before the last few episodes, I didn't even know um, how I ended up here. But since those last episodes with the, the anonymous cannoner, Kalani, and this PvP guy, I have sort of come to know of how I got here and how I can get back, right? So if you guys didn't know, just a little catch up. Um, in the last few episodes, I trapped this underscore PvP something something guy. And um, he told me that there is this anonymous cannoner on Pika that deals with advanced cannon sch schematics that might be able to help me um, reach my world again. And so I finally tracked that guy down last episode and I sort of asked him, you know, it was a long Q&A session, but I sort of asked him, hey man, like how can I, how can you get me back to my world? And you know, he told me that, you know, I can't be teleported back even though I came here through teleportation, I can't be teleported back. Um, but what he did say was that, but what he did tell me was there is another much riskier way of getting back to my survival world. And that's the way I've chosen to take right um what it what it is is basically that i can ride his special cannon back to my survival world and what his special cannon is it's sort of like a rocket right it shoots up and it sort of vertically goes up and whilst carrying you know the people on him and when i asked him about it that cannon wasn't fully made nor was it functioning but since then it has been working i've been alerted now this this sort of option though comes with much riskier sort of um you know penalties um which is that you know it's gonna take me at minimum five years to get back to my home world and on top of that um there's you know going into space which is basically where i'm going to be you right I'm, I'm going to be going through space back to my world on this rocket sort of cannon right and so going through space it's a pretty harsh environment right and so if i die up there you know for whatever reason there is no way to respond right and so i'll just be done i'll be done there would be no way for me to get back to my survival world but that is a risk i think i'm willing to take i spent way too long on pika and i finally found a way to get back home and so since kalani has told me that the cannon is ready that is what we're gonna be doing today but before that i did have a little bit of a special announcement as you guys can see there's a lot of people on right now a lot of eternals and morals now let's look at the immortal right there so um i have a friend you know sheriel as, as we have met in a couple of episodes senior Vern. you know um he's a, he's a very very good guy and so what he has done is he's sort of bought me this um this this rank He's, he sort of bought me this you know got to immortal upgrade voucher right and now you can't really use this unless you are already a god rank which most people are not and so that's why i sort of decided against doing a giveaway because it's not very general right i mean whoever gets it's not really good it's probably just gonna end up selling it and he did want me to use it for myself so i really hope that my youtube rank doesn't get taken away um, after I do this but you know that's a risk again that I'm willing to take so a big 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 shout out to Sherio for hooking me up with this God to more rank I really wanted to end Pika um, you know having the max rank in the game and even though I didn't get up to eternal which is you know sort of only one through keys I did get to immortal which is sort of the highest like achievable rank and then you have like keys where it's sort of random right and so I'm gonna be using this and there you go hold on let me see okay great so I have redeemed the rank up voucher um hopefully I'm still youtuber okay great I am still youtuber recruit and Bacardi in fact but we do have now access to the immortal kits 
But with that being said, we have finally reached the end of the line. We sort of maxed everything out. And you know, you guys know how you know I've been like, oh, I don't take hands outs and stuff. Yep. You know what? Um, I guess at the end I I ended up turning the wrong way or something. Like he really wanted to give give it to me. I I I insisted I don't want it. But you know, he he really he really wanted to give it to me. And so I I accepted it. And he's a, he's a good friend. He's a great friend. Um. And hopefully, you know, hopefully me and Sherio can meet each other somewhere along the line. But it's definitely not going to be back on Pika. This is the last time I'm going to be seeing this world, man. Because I have this cannon set up and ready to go. Um, uh, Kalani has sent me the course to his rocket cannon, whatever you want to call it. Let's call it a rocket. And we should be ready. Everything should be set up. Actually, it's pretty cool. He used his teleportation machine to uh, put it and paste it on, on, on these specific coordinates. So let's go ahead and find it. And yeah, let's get back home, guys. It's been far too long. Okay, guys. So the cords should be coming up somewhere around here. Um, that's what at least Kalani told me that he pasted it somewhere around. Oh, look at that in all of its glory. So apparently he fitted that big cannon that we saw last video inside of this uh, little compact space. And yeah, and we have some bit, a bit of chickens here. Let's see, is it uh, is it used? Oh, it is used. I mean, I think he might have tested it out or something. I don't know. But yeah, it seems like everything should be working fine. And uh, yeah, let's let's take a look here. Um, how is it looking inside? Okay, I mean, we got we got a little bit of redstone going on. I don't know much about this stuff, but let's go up inside here. Why? Okay, so it is open here. That means that I am going to be running out of oxygen and, you know, whatever stuff happens in space. But, yeah, let's see how everything else can go. Let me just... I mean, I think, I think what he told me was to start this cannon. I believe what you need to do is... Oh, yeah, there is this lever here, which would take it out, all, uh, all of its stands. So, it's standing currently. And it's chained down so what we can do is we can click that and boom you see how every one of the stands is now removed right so now that these things are off what we can do is we can get back up in here and we can start this uh, this this rocket ship and see where it leads us to he said that this position is correct for my world so this should be directly going to my world and yeah let's start this and this is I guess where the journey to our world will begin. I mean, let's look at Pika one last time. We don't really have our friends here um, at the moment. You know, this is a late at night that I made this sort of, it was a sort of an impulsive decision. But yeah, this is going to be the end for, for us, dude. Let me go in um, a more cinematic view. Yeah, this is, this is what it is. The last time I am seeing Pika here and we should be, we should be done. Yeah, you know, we, we did have some great memories on Pika, but the time has come. Let's get on through here and let's start the cannon and let's look out the window. Okay, so as I am hearing these TNT sounds go off, um, you know, we did have some great times on Pika. I mean, thinking back all the things we did as, you know, you know, whether it be part of you know, Bacardi or whether it be part of Villages or, you know, Fate slash 808 or just with, you know, some friends like Shelby Life and Mobulam. We did have some great memories, man. And uh, as this thing is going off, this should be the end. You know, looking back, even though coming to Pika Network was an accident, I don't think I would change a single thing about it. I think if I had to go back and choose, I would still choose to come here because of all these memories that I shared. If they ever tell my story, let them say, I walked with giants. Factions rise and fall like the winter wheat, but these names will never die. Let them say, I lived 
in the time of Crab, the defender of bases, let them say, I lived in the time of Bacardi. <laughs>